Hey guys, what's up? My name is Perez and welcome to another episode of NHL Be A Pro Episode 3. Today we're going to take a look at our weekly performance breakdown summary of our XP that we earned in the last week of this game. Now, obviously I still haven't played like a full week of this game, it's just in-game week. So shooting, we went up to 488 XP, so that brings our wrist shot accuracy up to 75 to a little bit more we gain 325 xp for that and then we gain 163 xp for wrist shot power and uh for puck skills we have gained 136 for deking 189 for hand eye zero for passing puck control 130 um which is really good we need to really work on our uh puck control and our passing senses we have lost 145 xp for that so we went down 60 for um discipline i believe and the off, um, offense awareness, we went down 60, 85. So, but anyways, we gained back more in skating um, with 325 XP overall. And we put it all into endurance. Um, so that brings up our, basically we could stay on the ice much longer than usual. So we gained zero XP for physical and defense. We have gained 325 for defense awareness 325 for uh, for uh, for faceoffs, shot blocking we gained 80 uh, 78, and then for stick checking we gained 195. So that is our weekly performance. But anyways, we're gonna face against the Brampton Wheat Kings in this uh, episode. So we only got like two more games going. We only got one more game, then we move on to the NHL. But anyways, guys, if you actually enjoy this series, you guys want to see some more. Make sure you guys smash the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't. You guys have been killing it on the views the likes the comments and i've been loving it so keep that up but anyways i'll see you guys when we hit the ice all right guys so we're gonna get started here in the first period of course we're gonna take the fair the first very first face off of the game and we lose it i did fix the camera angles and i quite like this camera angle uh right now as it like it's fixed on me and auto zooms in auto zooms out so it gives you guys the best look um for video Gives me the best look for video, and it makes it just it makes it a little make a little make it look like it's a lot better. Um, so I like I don't know how to phrase that. I don't know how to word that. But anyways, I really like this camera angle. Hopefully you guys do. If you guys don't like it, and you guys want to see a specific camera angle that you guys have been using that's a lot better than this. Tell me in the comments below. Then I'll definitely try it out and uh, see if I like it. And if I do, then I'll stick with it. If I don't, then I'll go back to this. Obviously. But anyways, later today, you guys are going to see the second episode in the World Cup of Hockey. You guys have been killing it with that series. Almost over 2,000 views, which is crazy. Almost like 30 likes and like tons of comments, tons of support. I love it. Keep it up. And you guys are going to see the second episode in that um, since um, I believe it was the other day that Canada beat the U.S. I believe like 7-3 to three or 7-2, to two, which was a crazy, crazy loss to the Americans. But it's the only exhibition right now for the World Cup. Uh, the World Cup begins on September 17th, uh, basically next week. So, and um, so, but anyways, I'll see you guys when we get back on the ice. I'll talk about when we get back onto the ice. So guys, we're finally back on the ice here. There's 11 minutes in the first. We are still tied 0-0. And I can't win a face-off to save my life. Oh, I tried to poke them there. I tried to poke them, but I guess I wasn't... Um, it was a little bit too far away. Oh my god, I thought that went in the net. That look actually looked like it went into the net, but it didn't. Come on. Get the puck. Oh, nice save. Here we go, here we go. Oh. I lost it. I poked him. That was a good poke. That was a good poke. That will go right to our defense. That will give us XP for our defense. And uh, defense awareness, obviously. Or offense awareness. I meant to pass it, not shoot it. Alright, we have to skate to the bench here. I like that camera angle where like it zooms into the player like really close. Then obviously it zooms out a little bit too. I love that camera angle. I love this camera angle. And I love the like the auto zoom. But anyways, I'll see you guys when we finally get back onto the ice. I know that was a quick shift. But um, I'm just going to skip it for you guys. I'm just going to skip it to continue on. Give you guys a little bit longer. Um, 
I don't know. I don't want to keep on cutting it. So I love these the basically skip to next shift. I love that they added that back into NHL 17. Be a pro. Uh, they took it out the other year, and um, I love when they put it back. So we're gonna pass it to this guy because he's a little bit closer to the line. Oh, I missed. Battle in front of the net. Oh, we got we got another zone. All right, we get the puck. Don't worry, we'll get the puck back. So we're at 27 seconds in into our shift here. Um, and uh, let's see if we can stay on the ice a little bit longer. Obviously, we don't want to stay on the ice for too long because um, we want to have those quick shifts. So we're going to have the quick shift right now. That'll give us more XP and or give us more. Our coach will give us more time on the ice if we do quick shifts and we actually listen. So as you guys can see here, this is how they break it down. Um, my overall target is 59%. Uh, I don't have an overall right now because the period hasn't ended. So my deep, my offense is 78%. So we have to get a B plus. That's our target for offense. Our defense, we have hit our defense. Our team play, we still have to get up a little bit more on our defense. But if I score, if I score or get an assist, that'll bring up our team play and that'll bring up our offense. So hopefully we can get a goal next shift or even next period. This is this next shift. I really want to change it up for this for this uh, this series. I know last year um, I basically cut out every time I went I went on the bench. I don't want to do that sometimes now, so I'm just going to skip it through and just go through like uh, show you guys the process of this game mode because it's early on into uh, NHL 17 and the game has been released today. So hopefully you guys are actually enjoy playing it so far, and hopefully you guys enjoy all the game modes that NHL 17 has to offer. Uh, if you guys have been enjoying it, if you guys have picked up the game, tell me in the comments below if you guys are actually enjoying it. And see, tell me in the comments below if you see anything wrong with the game and you think EA should fix it um, in like a future update. Tell me in the comments below if you see anything that they they that they need to fix um, in a future update. Because they'll bring a, they'll bring out a pretty big update when this game is finally released at 12 o'clock. Um, well, they probably did an update already. Um, I still haven't done the update somehow. I still have a little bit of time with the trial somehow. And I told you guys, uh, before I fell asleep with my Xbox on, um, and, uh, I left the, I left, I fell asleep with my Xbox on. I thought I exit out of this game. I thought I exited out of this game, but I didn't. So it really used up all my trial, but somehow I still have some trial left. Uh, that's how I'm able to record this video and the next video for, uh later today so but anyways i'll see you guys when we get back on the ice i'm gonna take a little break from talking i'm gonna get a drink and uh i'll be right back all right guys so we're back in the ice here there's 12 minutes left in the second they're going to rush our zone here i'm gonna to try to get them out nice shut down there by our defense we got a pretty amazing defense oh and there it is watch there's the fucking stick flip stick throw i threw the stick there we go. That is my second goal of the entire season. That's my second goal of this tournament. That's my second goal of this tournament, which is actually pretty amazing. Boom. We went top corner and boom. Flip. Awesome. That is going to be our thumbnail. That's going to be an awesome thumbnail. I know I made an awesome thumbnail the last episode where I tackled the goalie, basically. And that was pretty pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome. I wish I could recreate that 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 moment but uh i can't so maybe maybe in the future um i sh definitely shot it wide there i like the i like the auto zoom because it gets me a little bit closer to my player and it gives me a little bit more accuracy to actually shoot at the net and um i made some changes to the world cup of hockey uh thing uh obviously with the difficulty i did bump it up um i did change the camera angles uh i don't i don't think i changed the camera angles on that i think i just bumped up the difficulty uh for you guys because I did get some comments saying that you need to bump up the difficulty. It's a little bit too easy. And I know I knew it was a little bit too easy. But I really wanted to try it out for the first episode. And uh, and get all that done, basically. And I really wanted to see what that, that difficulty had to offer. And see what type of difficulty that was. I really want to try out the different difficulties in this game. I really just stuck with Pro... I think, no, I stuck with All-Star uh, in NHL 16 with Be a Pro. And I pretty much stuck with All-Star uh, pretty much the entire, like, 
when I played Exhibition or when I played uh, different game modes in NHL 16 are pretty much stuck with All-Star. Alright guys, so we're coming back on the ice here. They have tied it up. There we go, I poked him. Oh, I almost got that through to his glove. I love diving at the goalie for some reason. I love doing that in EASHL. And I think I'm going to play that tonight. Um, because the game releases in a couple of hours, actually. Um, as of recording this. So, the game releases in a couple hours. I'm still playing it. Somehow I still have some time on my trial. Uh, I know I did say in one video, I forget what video it was, that... Uh, I, I felt I, I think I, I said it like I said I fell asleep and uh, I accidentally left the game running and um, but uh, somehow I still have some trial left maybe there was a glitch in EA servers or whatever and the, the game wasn't really on uh, but the game was on but it wasn't really on um, it was weird it was really weird but uh, I still have some trial left which was pretty amazing I still have like four hours left so it gives me enough time to actually record this episode record this video and then record the World Cup of Hockey video. And then I have to wait till 12 o'clock when the game is fully released. And I can record a lot more game modes. And you guys have been... You guys have been uh, asking for NHL Be a Pro. More NHL Be a Pro. And more World Cup of Hockey. Even though it has over almost 2,000 views. Which is crazy. Like the first like 24 hours that video has been uploaded. It got like 1,000 views. It was crazy. My video went a little, little bit viral. Um, not that much, but it went a little bit. Um, even YouTube, actually, like the analytics told me, like, this this video has gained more views than your past, like, two videos in, like, in 24 hours. So that was crazy. That was crazy. And I can't thank you guys enough for coming to my channel and watching some NHL 17. I know there's a lot of uh, NHL 7 or NHL channels out there. Um, that you guys could watch and you come to my channel to watch uh, my series and all that stuff. I love watching different YouTubers with different, um, obviously I watch like a lot of Call of Duty. Uh, I used to watch a lot of Call of Duty like channels like Ali A, T Martin, basically the top, the top channels for Call of Duty. And um, I like, I like their content both. I like the, how T Martin did his videos and I loved how uh, Ali A did his videos and I also love how different NHL content creators here on YouTube are doing different styles of editing commentating and just overall just making great content of NHL and I love it and uh, hopefully I can work with them uh, with the top uh, NHL YouTubers like Country Bacon um, 2BC Productions and uh, like I've been watching those guys for quite a while and um i just i just love watching their content i love watching their videos and they have a lot of different commentaries they like both have different styles of commenting P people uh, those guys have different styles of editing editing and all that stuff and i love that and i love seeing that in different youtube uh creators so if you guys want to get into creating youtube videos and making youtube videos get get to it like don't don't be don't be like um, scared of actually making a YouTube video because there's really nothing that could happen. Like it could go over very, very well or you can start growing very, very slowly like I'm doing. I grow very, very slowly. I haven't been, been um, growing as fast that as I like first started this YouTube channel. But I've been growing recently because this game has been released and it's been early and people have been looking for videos on NHL 17 of course and obviously the World Cup of Hockey starting so that's a great series to start when the World Cup of Hockey is going um I kind of did a little bit of um research obviously um but uh anyways I'll see you guys when we get back on the ice it's probably going to be the third period but I'll see you guys when we start the third period so before we actually start the third period, I want to kiss you guys through what I do to actually create my thumbnails. I know I get, I get a lot of questions asking me, how do I create thumbnails and how do I edit videos? And uh, I made a series of videos on how to actually, how I edit um, my videos. But um, this is actually how I get my thumbnails. So I scroll through the entire period. I'll probably go back to my goal when I did the, the stick flip or uh, the stick throw. And I'll take a I'll take a snapshot of it of the on my capture card, and then I'll put it into Photoshop. Obviously, then I'll put my white watermark and the title into the thumbnail, so you guys get 
so you guys know what you guys are clicking on. So you guys know what you're clicking on. Obviously, it's a little bit, the picture's a little bit clickbaity, uh, obviously, but it actually happens in the video. It's not like false. It's not, it did happen in the video. I'm telling you guys, it did happen in the video, and um, I'm showing you guys what actually happened in the video. So it's not really clickbaity, but it's a little bit, and uh, I don't like doing it, um, but uh, I hate fucking clickbait. Fucking hate it. Hate it so much. But anyways, I'm going to scroll through right to my goal, and then I'm going to show you guys how I angle up the camera and uh, how I actually take the screenshot. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we got to the point of my goal here. As you guys can see, there's my goal. And then there's the, the stick flip. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to angle this up. I'm going to focus on my guy. Basically, I angle it up. That's actually a, <laughs> that's a weird face. Would you guys look at that face? I actually, no. Uh, actually, that looks pretty cool. Be like behind the fan. Whoa. That fan's face. I'm trying to angle it up here so it actually looks good. But there's not like too many instruct like distractions in it. Uh, there we go. That's good. So right now I'm actually on my computer. You guys can't see it, but there's a little button that says "Take screenshot." Take a snapshot of video. So I'm gonna take a snapshot of the video. And that's it. That's how I actually create the thumbnail. And I'll see you guys. Oh, anyways, let's just start it. Let's go right into it. Let's go right into it. There's a little bug on my screen. I don't know why there's fucking bugs in my room. Um, but take the face off. I need to get a lot better at face offs. It looks like it's just been fucking awful. Just taking screen, uh, taking slap shot, uh, slap shots, face offs. And get get it up here. Oh, if I would have got around him and got that got that puck, that would have been an amazing little breakaway. And uh, hopefully, I can actually. Oh. Cover it, cover it. Face wash. Why not face wash a little bit? So I'm going to try something different with the face off. Oh, there we go. We want to face off. Here we go. Camera zooms in. Do a little toe drag. And I try to go for that corner blocker side, but I just couldn't get it. Oh, could have got it there. I don't know where the puck is. Oh, it's out. Okay. We'll, we'll switch up. Do a quick shift. I'll see you guys when we get back on the ice. Alright, guys. So, we're coming back on the ice here. We are on the rush. Our guy takes the face off. Take a, <laughs> take a slap shot at the goalie at the end of the whistle. Wow. All right. So we're going to take the face off here. Oh, here we go. Take the... Oh, take a shot there. Get the rebound. Couldn't get the rebound through. Oh, takes another shot. Steals it. Where is it? Oh, my God. It's in the net. There it is. There is another goal. That will be an assist on my part. And, uh... Yeah, so... I'm going to, there we go. There's an, there's an assist by me. I don't know if I passed it or not, but that was an assist. Um, hold on. I got to take the face off here. I'm texting my friend. I got to stop texting. Got to worry about the game here and just do an awful fucking call for pass there. That was an awful one. That was a really awful one. Oh, what a nice save by Williams. All right, here we go. 26 seconds in our shift. I think we're going to take the face off and win the face off and then uh, probably go into the bench if I did actually win the face off. There we go. We take the shot block. We're going we're gonna to dump it in, clear it, do a nice line check or line, line change. That's it. That's the name.
All right, guys. So we got nine minutes left. We're on the power play here. We got them. We get double XP for shutting them down. So if we shut them down, it basically means don't let them get a goal. And oh my God, here's a breakaway. And I completely missed. I completely missed. Oh, what a nice shot. Come on, get it. I'll cover you. Oh, I got poked. Oh, scores. What? What? That was a no high stick. That was a no. That was a high stick. Come on, ref. And I'm just twirling my arm around. I forgot to press Y. That was no high stick. You think that guy was? You think that was a high stick? Put it in the comments below right now if you think that was a high stick. Let's see. Let's see the ref's decision. And no goal. What? What? That's bull crap. That was a goal. That was a goal. You have to be kidding me, ref. Come on, you take my second goal away? What the fuck was that? Alright. Okay, we got in their zone. I tried to battle. I tried to battle. It did not work. It did not work. So we get double XP for shutting them down. Like I said, it's basically not letting them go into our zone and basically not scoring. Oh, come on. I gave you a perfect pass there. Where's our defense on that? Come on, shoot it, buddy. Oh. Poke him. Poke the goalie. Poke the goalie. All right. We're going back to our, we're going back onto the bench because we're running out of stamina. All right, guys. So we're about two minutes left in the third period. We're still up by one. I would love to be up by two, but at the end of the third. But um, this is the last period, and we do have the puck. So. Saucer, pass it to me, you dumbass. Oh, you pass it to me now, and then I get fucking poke checked. Why would you pass it to me there when I'm covered by a fucking huge ass defenseman? Why am I taking a fate? Why am I taking a slap shot? Like, why? There we go. Make him dump it. I'm going to do a proper line change here. Ready? Kaboom. Dump it in. There we go. That is pretty much the end of the game, guys. We have hit all of our targets. We hit all of our goals. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you guys smash the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. Later today, you guys are going to see, uh, I believe it's the second episode in the World Cup of Hockey Tournament. Uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy that video. You guys enjoyed the very first episode, and that's awesome. Uh, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Links will be in the description, of course. And make sure you guys check out our sponsors, too, because they are awesome. They have awesome products to offer to gamers, and uh, I actually use their products. So make sure you guys go check them out. Links will be in the description. My name is Prez, and I'll definitely see you guys in the next episode of NHL Be a Pro. Peace out.